Hey everybody, I'm Stephen here with Tiny House Listings and I wanted to show you uh, one of our models. It's called the LAD, which stands for Life After Debt. Uh, we did a video a couple months ago of one um, and that was, recent, that was recently completed. That one's already been sold and we've done quite a few since. Uh, but this is one that we just recently completed for a customer and before it gets shipped out, I wanted to give you a tour. We made some enhancements and some improvements to the uh, previous one. So we just wanted to check it out. So here we go. So the idea of the LAD is to keep it very, very simple, very affordable, while also maintaining a very high quality of construction and material. So this tiny house is made out of traditional building materials. This is built to last decades if, it, if it's uh, been taken care of. Uh, but yeah, this tiny house has a lot of really cool features. And uh, one of them is, the first thing you see right here is it has a 15,000 B2 mini split, which is way overkill for a house like this. But uh, even if it goes to extreme temperatures, um, extreme environments, it can easily heat and cool the house with no problems. Another thing it has is dual axles, 6,000 pound axles, uh, each one. So that's 12,000. This tiny house is ready to hold, the, well, the trailer is ready to hold 12,000 pounds. And uh, the whole entire tiny house only weighs just a little over 6,000 pounds. So plenty of room to spare in terms of weight. Now on the exterior, the whole entire thing is wrapped in LP smart siding. Uh, we have sm LP smart siding trim, LP smart siding sheets. And then on the front here, just to give it a slightly different aesthetic, we use LP lap siding. On each corner of the tiny house, we weld on D-rings. And this is really good if you live in a windy area and you wanna make sure that the house stays attached to the ground. Um, so it's these things right here. You can attach those to the ground to prevent tipping. And also each corner has high strength 7,000 um, pound scissor jacks that are permanently mounted. Uh, the company that we use to ship our tiny houses to pick them up from our facility and deliver them to uh, your location, they'll help you level it up and all, all those things like that as well. So Tiny House Listings currently builds two models and this is one of them, the LAD, and we built another one called the Model Tiny. And um, my thought when this one came about, I've been brewing on this one for a while, uh, is when housing prices really started to shoot up uh, shortly after the pandemic and things like that. And I was just thinking like, what is a way that we can get a tiny house to our customers that's extremely affordable and, uh, and built very nice. It's made out of traditional building materials and uh, nothing, you know, experimental or anything like that. And uh, that was what, when we came up with this idea uh, called the LAT, which again stands for life after death. The process of buying and then owning one of these is extremely simple. Uh, it only takes about four weeks from the time that you decide you want to buy one to the time it's actually ready for delivery. And um, there's only just a few options on these to keep it very simple. And those options are whether or not you want a mini split. Uh, some people just want a, win a window unit. And um, the color of the tiny house, you get to pick that. And then whether or not you want a cooktop or if you want an actual inserted two burner electric cooktop. Uh, those are really the only three options. Okay, so now we're on the inside of the tiny house and we've changed the layout just a little bit. I'll show you here in a second. Uh, but it feels much bigger because you can see from this end all the way down to the other end where the kitchen is, which is a full 16 feet. Uh, the one that we did before was just the whole back wall was the bathroom area. And uh, that was a nice layout, but we decided this was a much better layout. So we'll show you what that looks like. So as you can see in the living area, you have room for a sitting chair. You could put one over here too if you wanted. Um, you could put, you can do this in any configuration if you want. And if you wanted to, you could put a twin bed this way, then have yourself a little office area over here. Um, but we just have it staged this way. And um, you could put a day bed here like this. You could put a trundle bed beneath uh, where another bed pulls out. You could put storage under here. Um, you could put storage all around over here along the top. There goes the mini split. And what we started doing on the ceiling, which we think looks really nice, is cabinet grade plywood that's nickel gapped. Goes all the way down. Has a really beautiful look to it. So then moving from the living area, you can go down towards the kitchen. This tiny house is designed for just one person or an Airbnb. If you want to have it for short term stays. Uh, but the kitchen is all you need. You can, and this referring to what I was talking about earlier, you could, it, everyone comes with a small like kind of hot plate cooktop. Uh, an option to upgrade is where we will insert a two burner electric cooktop into the butcher block directly above the fridge. You can see lots of storage. If you wanted, you could put even more storage here. Hot water heater is electric and goes underneath there. Flush toilet. 
nice little wall mounted sink. 32 inch shower stand up, you got yourself a fan lighting above. Again, there's the cabinet grade plywood that goes on the ceiling. LVP flooring, high quality. Also comes with four nice size windows. These three are all the same. Then you have a window in the bathroom. Two GFI outlets, butcher block countertop, stainless steel sink. So over here, you can see where we wire up for it to have a TV mounted there. But another option that you could have is a TV mounted over here on this wall as well. So that concludes the tour of the lab. This tiny house only starts out at $35,000. You could have it in four weeks. Again, it makes it's perfect for just one person um, or if you want to use it as an investment. Um, we already had one person who bought a tiny house in the beach area, the, the first one that we actually ever built. And um, she's made enough money from the summer that's already paid for the tiny house, which I thought was really interesting. But yeah, this tiny house is third party NOAA certified. Um, so as far as resale value, if you ever want to sell it in the future, it would be no problem. Um, but yeah, this is an ultra budget tiny house that is built extremely well. Uh, it can handle basically any climate in the continental United States with no problems. And um, it's just a wonderful home. We're excited to share it with you. Hope you like the new layout. Hope you like the tiny house altogether. So in the link below, we'll have a description, a link to an actual listing on tiny house listings where we can get more information. You can reach out and you can buy one. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.